problems determine determine input and output impedance for a given network okay determine input and output impedance for a given network okay now the first two things This is your circuit diagram, right? So for this circuit, you need to calculate input and output impedance, right? So just you observe here. This is one, one dash, two, two dash. That means what? Up to this, we have a two port network, right? That means what? Which can be written as, which can be done as. This is your two port network circuit, okay? Two port network circuit, okay? Which having Two terminals like this, okay, a port one and port two. For this port one area, we need to connect this practical voltage source, right? Practical voltage source, one ohm and one volt. And when it comes to this side, okay, which is two and two dash, this is one and one dash, okay. So for this, we need to cal, we need, we need to connect. Two ohms load resistance. So this is your circuit, right? Now, just you observe. So this entire portion is nothing but our two port network circuit, right? So for this two port network, that means this circuit is look like a T network, right? T model. So for T model, that means this entire region we have one T network with one ohm. One ohm and one ohm resistance. Okay, so for this network, the Z parameters are okay. Z parameters are now tell me T network means we can directly add these two elements as a Z one one that means one plus one and Z B is nothing but one Z C is nothing but one and Z that means uh, sorry Z one two is one and Z two one is one and Z two two is nothing but what summation of these two elements that is one plus one. Okay, that is nothing but one. This is two and two ohms, one ohm, one ohm, and two. This is your Z parameters for given a two port network without load as well as source, right? So these are the parameters. Okay, now, okay, so now what happened? This entire circuit, this entire thing, I can be removed here. Okay. And here I can add one two port network with Z parameters, Z parameters like two ohms, one ohm, one ohm, and two. Right? This is your one and one dash terminal. This is your two and two dash terminal. Clear? Now. At this place we have Z one one. At this place we have Z two two. Okay. And I can remove this one is removed here. Okay. Now, now just otherwise you can remove this Z two two. Just you can focus on this Z one one one. Okay. So in case so uh, here the question is input impedance of given network, right? So here I can indicate with Z E. Okay. So if the element is not there, if one ohm element is not there, okay, then this Z one one directly equals to input impedance of this entire network. Okay. But here we have one ohm resistance is there. Okay. 
so in this case okay okay so now so for this network z input equals to otherwise so otherwise you can indicate this one as uh, sorry this is not z1 one
problem. So first you can evaluate these parameters of given two port network without uh, including uh, that means without uh, source and loading. So once you can calculate the parameters, then by including source and load, you have a formula for Z input impedance and output impedance. In that formula, just you can substitute those parameters and source as well as load resistance value, then you will get the input impedance as well as output impedance. Okay.